in front of me here, I have probably one of the smallest knives that I currently own. And I got it at a flea market the other day. I paid $1 for this. Um, and the reason why I bought this is this isn't really my thing, but my girlfriend always loves these little knives with like the fake pearly like white handles. So I figured this would be for her. And I asked the guy how much he wanted for it. And he said a dollar. So I went, okay, cool. Um, so I paid a dollar for this little uh, cute little pocket knife here. That actually seems to be put together really well. Um, Tang stamp says Kent. This is an American-made knife. Um, generally speaking, if I'm buying knives at a flea market, I want them to be American-made. Uh, Kent, New York City, USA is the Tang stamp. Uh, so let me know if you know anything about that, guys. Uh, I haven't looked it up yet. Uh, perhaps I should do that. Or maybe my girlfriend will just look it up when I give it to her. Um, but yeah, I paid a dollar for this, so it really doesn't matter. It's got these small little uh, bolsters here on it. Um, just a cute little knife. Now, I'm not sure exactly what this would have been used for back in the day. It does have a little hole here, so I don't know if, like... At some point it had like a bail on it and you would have used this as like a keychain knife or something. Um, and it's got this little pen blade, which is hilarious because the main blade is pretty much a pen blade. Um, as usual, I don't have my ruler, but this is a very tiny knife. Uh, do I have anything to compare it to? Um, should have my ruler. Okay, well, I don't know where my ruler went. Uh, but anyway, it's a very tiny knife. Let me just look at it in my hand. It's very small. Uh, maybe about an inch and a half closed. Mm, probably more like two inches closed. Uh, it's smaller than a case peanut, I believe. Um, but just a cute little knife that I think my girlfriend will probably like. Uh, I've never heard of Kent uh, Cutlery Company or anything, so that's interesting. Um, and it's just a you know, pretty neat little knife for a dollar. It's funny because I picked it up and I went like, you know, how much you want for this? Because like most flea markets, none of the things are priced. Um, and he goes, a ah, dollar. And then he points out the knives that I was looking at that were like completely um, destroyed for the most part. Like, you know, way overused, over sharpened, uh, not taken care of. And goes, there's better stuff in that box. And I'm thinking, no, there's not. <laughs> I found the best thing you have, old man. <laughs> um, and that's this. Uh, and I only paid a dollar for it. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's interesting because on the same day, I found the guy who owns all the Camillus TL29s, and he's selling them for $10 a piece. Uh, so if you're looking for Camillus TL29s, you need to go to Roots Country Market in <laughs> Mannheim, Pennsylvania, and you'll find the guy there that has an entire box full of Camillus TL29s. I already got the best one, so sorry about that, but... But yeah, anyway, back on this cute little knife, I just did a little bit of like light, I don't want to say restoration, but just kind of touched it up a little bit. Um, I tried to kind of, you know, polish the bolsters a little bit, polish the pins. I did get, I believe, most of the loose, like rust corrosion off the blade. Although there is still some there, I think, probably, although uh, some of that's pretty hard to get off and I don't really want to mess it up too much. I do like to keep the, the knives so that they do look their age because, you know, it's more interesting when you buy an old knife. Um, but yeah, I mean, otherwise I could have taken sandpaper to it, but I don't really like taking sandpaper to a pocket knife. It doesn't feel right to me. Uh, but anyway, this is mine right now and soon to be my girlfriend's little uh, Kent pocket knife maybe a keychain knife or something um but yeah just a cute little knife that i paid one dollar for and uh i think it's pretty neat especially for a dollar uh but that'll be it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one and i hope you have a good day